Discord. The most frequently used application for communicating with your friends using your PC, Mac, or even your very own mobile devices. And guess what? You only pay 4.999999. As I said, you only pay $50 subscription fee per month. Damn, that's a really good price, is it? And you're absolutely correct because it's completely free. So since recently I was scrolling through YouTube's homepage and got hit by a video made by Polymars making a game with Discord's bot API. I watched it and his stunt was successfully pulled. I was amazed by his idea so I decided to make one for myself but it's not a game, it's an actual bot built from scratch. And this video is totally not inspired by his, come on why would I be inspired by someone like him or not. But you should totally go check him out though. So let's go back two months ago in which I started this madness. Why so far back? Well, it's a long story. So it's the 1st of September where I first started research on the madness I started because I have no idea on how to program a Discord bot. The only solution was... I was given this website where it teaches you how to set up a bot application in some Discord portal thing and how to invite the bot to your server. Very helpful indeed. With that in place, I then researched on which programming language Discord bots are programmed with, but that wasn't giving me a proper answer because Polymars uses Java. The code is written in Java, so I needed a way to interact with Discord's bot API in Java. Or maybe bots can be written with other languages. So I went on searching Discord API instead, and what do I know? Bots can be written with JavaScript, Java, Python, and C Sharp. And this leaves me choices. I did some additional research about Discord to find out it was programmed with JavaScript. And because it was written in JavaScript, I don't want to be congested in errors using other languages and that's a real pain in the brain if you should ask me. So I chose to work with JavaScript. Afterwards I went on YouTube and got a tutorial by Codeland. He shows you everything up to programming the bot. According to what he did, I need some things done. First, I need to install Visual Studio Code along with Node.js. I don't know what this is for, but I'll install it anyways. Then to the Discord portal to set up a bot application. So after that monstrosity, it was finally time to add the bot to the server. Here we go. Wait what? Bot requires code grant. I went over to my server to check if the bot was added but it was nowhere to be seen. I tried again but it was the same thing happening over and over and over. But something came to my realization that I should write some code to allow the bot to join the server. But surely will regret doing so later. I quickly dug up Google in search for Discord.js and if you are living under a rock and don't know what this is, it's basically an API written in JavaScript which is a part of Discord and we commoners use this API to our advantage to manipulate it to run commands automatically using bots. But boy oh boy those are some complicated code lines to understand because I'm just some random dude trying to accomplish something I don't know what to do. So in that case, well, learn javascript. But not the least, I have an app to do just so. It's an android app which teaches you not just javascript but other modern languages like python, machine learning and much more. Link to it is in the description. I'm not sponsored by Mimo but I think it's a great app. Anyways, I started the journey off by making the console say hello. The first step of learning JavaScript. And that's how I learned JavaScript. I learned everything such as array, loops, functions, you know the rest gamers. So with JavaScript flowing through my veins, I attempted to invite the bot again because Codeland added his without any code written. 
I hit up Google to search and search and search until I found out what was the problem. Then to know that I should unselect code grant in the bots application. What a waste of time learning JavaScript for nothing, but at least I have learned a new programming language. Anyways, I attempted to invite the bot again and it works. The bot is finally here, but it's useless at the moment. First, let's get that bad boy online. Here my newly found knowledge came in handy. Those code lines are very simple. All you need to do is create a consent that requires the API which is discard.js, create a new client instance, create a function to send a message in the console to let me know when the bot is online, then add the client token given in the bot application. Very good. So let's get that bad boy online. I said let's get that bot online. So after fixing that up, the bot is now online. There you can see. Now let's put it to a test by making the ping pong. Here's the code I wrote for that. When you send ping, the bot will reply pong. So with all the basics done, here's what I want the bot to do. When a new member joins the server, they should introduce themselves, not anything long. The bot will then know that individual is a new member, after which will be added to the member role. And with that role, members can view all the channels of the server. But before doing that, I want to add some roles and update some permissions. I spent hours doing this, but it was a success though. Afterwards, I started coding lines the bot needs to work. The code is now done, so let's test it out and see what we got. Wow, it works. But we have one problem here. The bot is adding the role to both the member and itself. And that's kind of a problem because in the code I stated whenever a message is sent by an individual member without a member role should be placed with that role and that includes the bot himself. So the code believes at least. So I went back to coding to fix the problem but for so much reason the problem won't turn him it. For hours I sat down trying to figure out how to terminate the problem. I tried this, nope, watch some tutorials, still nothing. So this leaves me no choice, I have to unleash my secret coding skills. This is the last code in my secret arsenal, so let's see if it works. Bullseye Man, what a relief. And that's how I got the problem solved. Nothing to worry about, chief. But one thing though, I need the text to be bold. But for some odd reason, I can't get that to work as how I want it to. But I'll just leave it as it is and finalize it some other time. So yeah, that's all it for the crappy bot I created. It's very simple, but that's what to expect for now. Later on, I'll work on it to make it look much better by bowling and coloring the text and also allow it to be 24 7 because if my computer should shut down, so will it as well and that's not a good idea if you catch my GIF. So go join my Discord server and the bot is waiting on you there. Also, if you're new and not subscribed but you like my contents I upload, don't be afraid to smash subscribe and leave a like if you have to. Don't worry, buttons don't bite. Anyways, my upload schedule, as you can see, it has been a while since the last, but as I said, I'm busy with school and some other stuff, because I'm still a student and my classes are entirely online, but we'll be back on track, boys. In the next video, I'm gonna work on a old mobile game I created previously, and you totally don't wanna miss that. So be motivated in the meanwhile, boys. Until next time, see ya in the next one.